Hi everybody, well a quiet day here in the coastal bend. We've got uh, the uh, fire warning out for the entire area except the immediate coastal areas of the coastal bend. That's for tomorrow because of very dry conditions that we're having. Very little rain expected with our front overnight and the strong uh, northwesterly winds tomorrow. Not overly strong, 20, gust to 30, maybe a little bit more than that. We also have the dense marine advisory out along the coast, but no fog advisories inland. We had a lot of fog this morning across the area. As you can see here, uh, one of our photojournalists shot these pictures in, uh, in and around downtown Corpus Christi, and it was uh, definitely uh, pea soup across the region, the proverbial uh, situation there with the sea fog rolling in. Let's take a look at the visibilities now. They are already dropping off in the region as we've got uh, the fog advisory for offshore and that's just going to roll in. It's already starting at Rockport with five mile visibility and six in Kingsville. And those numbers drop as that sea fog rolls on in on the heels of a light east southeasterly wind. We'll be down to about a mile by 5 a.m. and zero to one mile at 8 a.m. And there'll be a little bit of light rain mixed in there for good measure. Now, 73 right now in Corpus Christi with cloudy skies. They stay that way overnight, 69 at 11. And then we'll hold in the upper 60s with some light rain developing out ahead of our frontal system here along about 2 to 7, 8 a.m. Satellite and radar shows the thick clouds in the region. And again, you can see the light rain developing out here to the west. That front that was in central Texas yesterday is in central Texas today. And here is the uh, main Pacific system that's coming along with the surface and upper level disturbance that's going to roll across north central Texas. And that's where the likely rain will be. I wish I could say we we're going to have likely rain, but we're not. We're only going to see isolated showers in the morning because of this upper level low. This is where all the instability is to the right of the low, and that's going to carry it uh, through central and north Texas. And again, we're not even going to be on the edge of this. Then the dry air comes in from behind, a lot of dry air, so it'll clear out nicely tomorrow afternoon and for the remainder of the week. So here's a look at the weather pattern. Again, a few showers here at the morning around 9 a.m., but all the real action is up here between the warm front and the cold front. That's in central Texas, San Antonio, Austin, Waco, and Dallas, north and east. And some of that could be severe up there, but for us, Behind this, we'll see a clearing initially tomorrow afternoon and evening, and then the wraparound clouds will come back over us then for part of tomorrow night before we clear out beautifully here on Thursday. So here's a close-up look at this, and again, you can see the clouds. There's the light rain at 6 a.m. and again at 8 a.m., and then it's pretty much gone by noon with the clearing skies out to the west, and then a little bit of cloud cover tomorrow night, but uh, much colder temperatures down in the upper 40s. Rainfall amounts will be on the light side. Most unfortunate, but that's the key. We're not going to see much in the rainfall department. It's all going to be up here in north central Texas along the path of the upper level low. And you can see anywhere from one to about four inches of rain. It sure be nice to see that. I know you farmers want it, but it's not happening. All right, 7 a.m., light winds out of the west. And then here come the bigger winds tomorrow afternoon. But prior to that, we'll see temperatures in the 80s here in Corpus Christi. 68 in the morning, but 80 at noon and at 5 p.m. And the highs tomorrow look like this with 85 degrees here, 87 in Kingsville and 76 over in Port Aransas. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Again, 85 degrees tomorrow. Wow, 49 and 70, much cooler on Thursday. Friday looks fantastic, 47 and 74. Saturday looks great. Sunday, not too bad, except daylight saving time comes along. Saving, not savings, that's not the way you say it but uh, we actually lose an hour, so I don't even know why you have the word saving in there to begin with. We be get, you get to have like the sun out a little bit later, right? And Yeah, but it comes up later it and the kids up. go to school in the dark, and I don't like that. <laughs> no. Thank you for that, Dale. Okay, thanks, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> You're not alone. <laughs> well, our